Hey, what's up guys, Josh here. I'm here with Coach Marie and the rest of our coaching team. We're gonna go over this week's Tabata workout for you. For this workout, we're gonna have four different stations. We'll have two exercises at each station. We're gonna go 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds to switch between exercises. You're gonna do four sets of each exercise and we're gonna rotate around the room just one time today. You ready, Marie? I'm ready. Okay, so station number one, we're gonna start over here against the wall with our wall squat. So get that butt low. You wanna get those hips or those legs parallel to the floor here. We're just thinking about pushing yourself back back into the wall through the balls of your feet. And you can grab one of our slam balls here. You can reach high overhead with this one. You can also hold it out at your chest, in at your chest. You can put it between your knees and squeeze that ball between those knees the entire time, or just go body weight here, whatever you can do well. The second exercise, we're coming over to our ropes. We're gonna do some rope slam. So get those ropes, feet on the platform. You're gonna use those hips. Get those hips, you get those hips. Go and get those ropes up nice and high. Sit that butt back to slam that rope down as hard as you can. Deep breath in on the way up, push that air out as you slam that rope down. Nice. From there, station number two, we got Coach T over here. She's gonna start at one end. She's gonna sprint down to the other end of the blue floor, and then she's gonna do burpee, go down to the other end, sprint down, get another burpee. And so you're sprinting down and back as many times as you can, doing a burpee at each end of the floor. Now, if you need to, you can also do a step back burpee here, one leg at a time. You can do drop squats, you can do a jump squat, air squat, whatever you can do. So it's one and then you're back to the other end. The second exercise here is our tall kneeling dislocate. So you're gonna need a pan for this one. Look to squeeze nice and tight, so nice and nice, nice white hands for those knees. Holding that band apart, bring it around your back and bring those hands together in front of you and then bring it back around. Really focus on squeezing those glutes tight, opening up the chest. This is a great opportunity to recover from those sprints and burpees so that when you come back to that exercise, you can put everything you got into it each set. Nice job there, Tia. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Matt over here. He's starting on our suspension trainers, and he's gonna be starting with our bat weights. So, Matt's gonna squeeze those shoulder weights, pull himself up, and now he's gonna stay right here. So it's kind of like a plank for your upper back. Shoulders are down and away, hands are right there, those ribs, glutes are squeezed tight, ribs tucked, abs walled up here, and just breathing. Now, if you feel yourself start to fall away from your hands, put one foot back or step both feet back to really make sure you're squeezing that pencil between those shoulder blades the entire time. The second exercise here is our curtsy lunges. So, you're gonna start with those elbows at your ribs, and that's gonna take a step back, and as he steps into that reverse lunge, he's gonna reach back behind him, touching that toe down. You could alternate sides here, just do one side for 20 seconds, then the other. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you'll go into it without touching that foot down. So Matt's gonna go into that lunge, keeping all that weight on his front leg, driving up, and Matt's actually adding that hop in, so you can do that, you can take that hop out, or you can just go into those traditional reverse lunges here, if that's a little bit easier on those hips and knees. Nice job there, Matt. And then from there, we're coming over to station number four with Coach Carey. She's gonna start with our dumbbell front raises. She's got two dumbbells here, neutral grip, nice and control the way down, then she's gonna bring those hands up. They're gonna go out as she brings them up just above her shoulder height. Nice and controlled the weight down. So there's a bit of a pause at the top. So we're not rushing on this one. Raise them up. Nice and controlled the weight down. Change that weight if you feel like you're struggling to get those dumbbells into that full range of motion. The last exercise here, we're going down the floor and we're gonna work our flutter kicks here. So getting those hands underneath your hips here, I want you to try to crunch up, pulling those shoulders up off the floor, and then those feet are going up and down as quickly as you can. You don't need big kicks here. We just want to think fast hands, crunching up so those abs are engaged the entire time and breathing. Now, if this is an issue for any reason, you see a little too challenging, you can go to our McGill crunches where you bend one knee, other leg straight, and just practice taking your nose up to the ceiling, stopping when you feel your lower back pressing into your into the floor, or pressing into your hands and into the floor. Okay, that's our Tabata workout for this week. Great job, everybody.